Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with another super quick um, process video for you and this is again for my Hey Little Magpie blog post where I have pre-made some tags and um, and creating some pages with them. Uh, again, this is an 8.5 by 11 page because um, I made my previous layout I shared was an 8.5 by 11 and um, this was from the same part of the trip so I wanted to um, make sure that I could um, you know, have something to the back of it because it annoys me, especially when you're using odd size sizes. I tend to like to think of them in twos, so um, I've got something to sort of put on the back. Um, I have just pulled some papers from the um, older of the Chamel collections um, to just kind of mount my photo on here. And then again, I'm bringing in this um, silver, silver glittery um, f film strip because um, this is from the Universal Studios tour. No, Warner Brothers Studio Tour, and um, I kind of really love that kind of film strip uh, motif. Uh, there is a little bit in that tag that I've chosen and um, that I made as well. Um, and as I said, putting these layouts together was so quick. It took me like this one took me less than well, no, it took me probably about twenty minutes um, by the time I found thickers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, super quick, um, and that's the great thing because I've kind of spent the time cutting everything out and making those tags, so um, I don't feel kind of guilty at all for um, you know making a few quick layouts. So I've just taken this stencil, which is actually a stamping up stencil, um, and I've had it in my stash for quite a while, and uh, I thought I'd just add a little bit of interest to this uh, teal piece of cardstock. Again, this is just from my stash. Uh, I'm slowly trying to use my cardstock because it's not my favourite thing to use. I normally use pattern paper. But as I'm kind of focusing on teal and things for this layout, I decided, and um, this series of layouts, I decided that I'd get that teal cardstock out. So I just dried that on my heat gun, and now it's just a case of simply just layering up all these elements and gone to sort of one of my go to designs, which is kind of creating this kind of top cluster and as you can see I've left some of those elements like that little Polaroid frame on that tag not completely glued down so I could easily um, slip that over the edge of the photo. That polka dot piece is actually a border strip off one of the larger pieces of paper um, so that's worked um, in well and I now have some of these Chamel die cuts um, and I'm going to be just seeing if there's any of those to add on this layout. Um, I do want to pull in a little bit of red and um, I love that tag which says humorously unexpected um, and this is a photo of my boyfriend in front of Austin Powers um, Union Jack car and he's making like a funny face so um, that was going to work really well and it actually just using that in the red heart just creates a um, little visual triangle of red with the red stripe um, on the photo and I really like <laughs> Uh, how that looks so I'm just going to kind of go through here and see if there's anything else I can pull out to add in just some more red within those cluster and that is actually a piece cut from an older the older collection cut apart sheets and they kind of work in really well so even though I've made that tag I'll you know I'll still add bits and embellishments behind it but you know you don't need to add too much because a lot of your layering is already there and especially on these smaller scale layouts especially Again, I've just added another little one of those banner tags, which again I cut out from one of the Chamel 12x12 pieces of paper. So I'm just going to ink um, around the edges there a little bit. And now I'm going to set about trying to find my thickens to put my title down. And I pulled this one out, which again is an, is an American Crafts one, and it's an older um, one that's in my stash. So I'm just trying to use up my thickens. I'm being really good at not buying any thickens. Um, and just trying to use up the ones I've got. I'm going to put um, the title on here of Groovy Baby. Um, had to be, didn't it really? Um, and so that's going to just be a really simple title, introducing that sort of black and white font to cluster around the photo. Um, I do like to just add a little bit of adhesive to my um, thickers, especially chipboard ones, because there's nothing worse than opening an album and seeing them, you know, slip down to the bottom of a page protector. So I do like to add just a little bit of glue to those. Um, as I said, no overall, you know, I don't have any problems if I use a little bit of adhesive. So I'm really happy with um, how that has all come together. And um, I decided that I just wanted to bring a little bit more red in. So 
I'm going to cut down this layout. I haven't got too much room to cut it down because I do struggle doing an 8.5 and 11. Um, so I have filled it to the edges pretty much. So I've just slimmed, you know, shaved a tiny little bit off either side just so I can create um, a little bit of a border of this. This again is a kind of red. It's kind of more an orangey red, and again, this was just a piece of cardstock in my stash, and that's just going to help, I think, personally bring everything together. So I hope you've liked um, this um, other eight and a half by eleven layout. I do have some twelve by twelve layouts coming up using these tags, so I hope you'll come back and watch them later this week. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.